Let's start. The project name is Activity Result Launcher. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity and the second activity. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml, which is the layout of the main activity. And activity underscore second.xml, which is the layout of the second activity. In the main activity we have a button, go to second activity. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the button. In the second activity we have a button, go back. The constraint layout is the root layout. And this is the go back button. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. In the onCreate function, we set the onClick listener of the button. In the onClick function, we have created an intent with the main activity as the source and the second activity as the destination. Then we have called the activity result launcher dot launch function and passed the intent in it. This is the activity result launcher. It has a callback function called on activity result. When the app navigates from the second activity back to the main activity, this function gets called. Here first we check if the result is OK. Then we fetch the data that has been sent by the second activity and show it in a toast. In Android, Earlier we had to use different request codes for different activity launches, and then cross-check them in the onActivityResult function. But now instead of that, we will have separate activity result launchers for each activity. These are the imports. This is the second activity. In the onCreate function, we have set the onClick listener of the go back button. In the onClick function, we create an intent and put the key value data in it. Then set the result to be OK and finish the second activity. From here, the app control goes into the callback of activity results launcher of the main activity. Let's run the app. So as you can see, when I navigate back from the second activity to the main activity, the callback of the activity result launcher is called, and the data is fetched. So that's it. That's how you can use the activity result launcher in Java Android. Thanks for watching.